That's a weapon. Yeah. All right, firing. Light them all up. Come on, fire. Keep shooting. We need a mass mobilization of support, um, both not just in the UK, but globally. And I'm glad this tribunal has taken place to add to that mobilization. Uh, because when I, after I visited Julian in Belmarsh prison in March, of course, the question is always asked, why, why are you raising this case at all? Why are you supporting this campaign against extradition? Why are you supporting Julian Assange? And the way in which we can help him best is to convince people why it is the right thing to support Julian and why it is important that we mobilize on a mass basis to prevent this injustice taking place. And I've tried to answer as briefly as I can in the various interviews I've done since then, exactly why I am raising his case, why I am supporting this campaign. And there's a number of very basic principles and both the previous speakers have, have raised them. First of all, I, I do believe in democracy as possibly the optimum form of government and the way in which we can manage our affairs politically. But there are certain ground rules, values of democracy, of a democratic system. And one of them is something I've campaigned with the, our own National Union of Journalists and other organizations that represent journalists across the world. One of them is the freedom of the press. And therefore, standing up for a journalist who has exercised a considerable role in securing the display of a freedom of a press that Julian has is critical for us. And it's worth reminding people that oppressive regimes come to power and one of the first group of people that they seek to round up and we've seen across the world in prison abuse and in some instances murder are journalists because they do not want journalists to tell the truth. And so this is, I think, the case against Julian is not just a case against him as an individual. It's, it's an attempt by regimes to send a message to all journalists. And that message is silence. Be silent. Otherwise, we'll come for you. That's why this case is so critical to democracy. The second point I've always tried to get across to people is people have supported the whole idea of whistleblowing. In fact, in this country, we've legislated and in other countries too, legislated to seek to protect whistleblowers. Well, we protect, we've legislated to protect them in whistleblowing in private companies, in the civil service and in some elements of physical life as well. But what else is Julian, apart from a, a whistleblower, a whistleblowing in the way in which he's exposed some of the most outrageous crimes, war crimes in recent history. So, of course, if you believe, if you've supported the concept of whistleblower, you have to support Julian Assange. And also, I've tried to say in, the, in all the interviews I've done is I believe in justice. I just believe in the right to a person to a fair trial. And we know, as we've seen from the Chelsea Manning experience and many others, that if Julian gets extradited, there is no hope of a fair trial. And again, the message going out from those court decisions is be silent. You will be silenced. And we'll use the mechanisms of the judicial system to silence you. The other issue for me as well, I've tried to get across the moral argument. Well, when the Iraq war and other wars have taken place, uh, illegal, unjust wars, military interventions, um, often what's cited is the um, principles of just war. And you have to remind people what those principles are. As a war is the last resort, but fundamental is the protection of civilians. What Julian and his colleagues through WikiLeaks have exposed is that those that have argued for 
these wars and military interventions using the just war theory have completely offended against that theory because it has been, as we've seen in some of the pictures that we saw today, it's been innocent civilians and others that have been murdered in these wars. And I genuinely believe this is an issue of morality. And if you don't stand up for Julian Assange in this way, actually you're colluding in that immorality of the wars that took place and the military interventions that took place. Finally, I want to make this point as well. Deep inside of me, as a, I suppose, my trade union tradition, but also my socialist tradition, and also a tradition within our society of humanity, I don't want to stand by and see victimization take place. And that's what's happening with Julian. I visited him in Belmarsh. I know Belmarsh. I've visited others in their constituents included. It's a high security regime, it's oppressive. In, when I visited Julian back in March, only a month before, there'd been a suicide on his wing. That's how oppressive this regime is. And I believe he's in there because this is part of the victimization process. And it's a part of the process of trying to destroy an individual, his spirit, and again, send out a message to others that we can break you. So I stand. I stand in solidarity on the basis of that appalling, appalling attacks on an individual, and therefore I stand in solitary against the victimization. Let me just say this finally. I just think morally, socially, politically, we all have a responsibility. The responsibility is on our shoulders to stand up in solidarity with, with Julian. I think we've got to oppose this extradition. We've got to ensure that We've got to ensure that we succeed in this campaign, because if not, nobody's safe. And I only just hope if it ever happened to any one of us, there'd be others who came forward and campaigned in this way. And that's why that's why I think this tribunal is so important and can be significant in adding weight to this campaign. I just want to say one final point as well on a personal basis. I, I send a message of solidarity to Stella Morris as well uh, for the suffering that she's endured. Um, as, as Julian's partner, um, and for the courage that she's displayed too. I think we'll win this campaign, but it does require a, a mobilization on a scale maybe we haven't seen for quite a long while on miscarriages of justice in this way.